sharing Instant Pot recipes with you. So today we're sharing an easy dessert that you probably have all the ingredients for. They're called mini lava cakes. Let's get cooking. So first we're gonna start with one cup of chocolate chips. Now the recipe calls for dark chocolate chips. If you don't really like dark, you can use milk chocolate too, but I like, I like the dark in this one. So just one cup of those. Then we're gonna add half a cup of butter. Now notice it's softened, it's not melted yet because we're gonna melt it together with the chocolate. Okay, so you're gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds and then mix, 30 seconds and mix, and just keep on doing that until it's all the way melted. Once it's all the way mixed, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So you're gonna add about a fourth cup of flour, and then a half a cup of sugar. Next, you're gonna add three eggs that we're gonna crack really quickly. All right, and then just one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna mix this all together. I'm just gonna get my whisk in here so it will mix even better. All right. All right, so you're just gonna mix until there's just no more chunks left in your batter and it runs nice and smooth. Okay, there are a few different options when making the mini lava cakes. Now, if you have ramekins, those work great. So that it will take about six ramekins for this recipe. If you don't have these, I like to also use these Pyrex bowls. Now it makes it for a bigger lava cake, but sometimes I just like to have a little bit more than a little ramekin. So whatever you choose, it'll both work and you can do the same amount of time. So to cook them, you're just gonna take your lid off. I'm gonna put about, I don't know, anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of water, just so you have that liquid so it will cook. Then you're gonna put your trivet down into the bottom and then let's fill up our bowls. First, you're gonna spray your container with some nonstick cooking spray because you don't want it to stick in there. Next, you can use a spoon or whatever you want to spoon your stuff in. I'm just using a measuring cup because it makes my life just a little bit easier. And you just want to fill it till it's about halfway full. With the ramekins, you can fill it till it's about three fourths of the way full. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, then we're just gonna put this right into our Instant Pot. All right, and we'll just hurry and do the last one here. All right, now, because these are so big, you're gonna have to stack them on top of each other. So I have one trivet down and I'll put it on top. And then I'm gonna take another trivet and just put it right on top of there also. So I can put the other one on top. So with the ramekins, you can stack them on top of each other. Just make sure that they won't slip and you don't want them to fall into each other while they're cooking. So I like using the trivets to kind of separate them so they won't fall into each other. I'm right. gonna put the lid on and whatever knob you have, just make sure that it's turned to sealing, not venting. Move this. Next, we're gonna just go to pressure cook and we're gonna go up to 10 minutes. That's how long we're gonna cook for. Once you set the timer, you can just walk away. Okay, we were hoping that they are cooked through at least on the outside of it because you want the middle to be ooey and gooey. So let's vent this thing. Once all the pressure's out, go ahead and lift the lid up. Oh, much better, much better. Okay, let's pull this out. Okay, now we're gonna let it just cool for just a little bit. You can see it jiggly, which is exactly how I like it. We're just gonna let it sit out here and cool. Now you can put whatever toppings you want on top. I like to do like a little bit of powdered sugar, get my thing on here, and just kind of sprinkle it on, and then add just a few raspberries on top, or my husband loves to just eat it with ice cream. He puts ice cream on it and just goes to town. So we're gonna just cut this one open and see how it is. You can see this super gooey in the inside, but cooked on the outside is perfect mini lava cake. 